way. The Lord was saying to me, you've looked at it in a way that when you would say, seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and his righteousness and all other things will be added unto you. It was more so uh, seeking for myself. And I failed to understand that I wasn't to look to him for those provisions in that Matthew 6.33 as self to, to self-preserve, but to kingdom build and kingdom advancement. He says, I will provide all of these things for you and give you this provision to advance my kingdom. Yes, yes. But we have to get clean. We have to get clean. We have to go back to that place of stripping down and purging ourselves of everything that is not like him because he refuses to mix and mingle with our old mindsets, with our humanity, with our selfishness, with our Galatians 519 mindset. That is, the acts of the flesh. That is exactly uh, what uh, you can say. That's exactly what I am saying about that because God's intent is to bless us with that covenant of uh, prosperity that is given to us. We still live in fear, holding back from God, holding back that which he has blessed us with because of fear, we don't walk in the principle. Somebody is holding back that which belongs to God because of fear. Whereas, whatever God has blessed us with, if we return that back to God for his agenda to be fulfilled on earth, God will release and release and release his surplus upon us. Yes. Amen. And God is not happy about what is going on within the body of Christ right now. The entire body are operating in Revelation 3.16. Mm -hmm. Book on this. Mm -hmm. They have diluted everything. It's about me and my father no more. That has turned from soul business to show business. Mm -hmm. It is time to take the word of God serious. Mm -hmm. God is not playing with us. Mm -hmm. The Israelites play with him, with God. And they knew exactly what happened. For those generations that disobeyed God, that continued to worship other gods, they were punished. They kept rebuilding the temple. But now, for those, for those that obeyed the word of God, he was with them throughout all the world. The body of Christ, you, me, everyone, we are all part of the body of Christ. We need to do our part to move from this loop on this. From 316, Revelation 316, I, I guess yes, with uh, Galatians 593 to 23. It is time. Whatever is happening now, these are signs of the end of time. We need to tell God. I want to pay the series. I truly agree with you uh, with what you said at the moment. Uh, you can hardly find uh, the body of Christ, the local church, talk about evangelism, talk about so many. We're so into uh, church marketing. We want to market the church. We want the church to look like the world. But what God has given us is strong enough mm -hmm. for the world to seek after. Mm -hmm. If the true gospel has peace, joy in it and much more than that the true gospel prepares the people of god for eternity our time here on earth is temporary and we as the body of christ we as believers have to take the gospel of christ to our world matthew 24 14 says and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all nations as a witness, then shall the end come. As a matter of fact, what is delaying the return of Christ is because the church is not preaching the gospel of the kingdom. Mm -hmm. And then uh, mm -hmm. it's time for us to return back.
after the gospel of the kingdom. The good news is uh, God has placed in my heart to declare 2020 to 2030 as the decade of harvest, harvest of souls. Jesus says the harvest is plenteous, but the laborers are few. Mm -hmm. So within this decade of harvest, the next 10 years, our intent and our heartbeat is to plant over 1,000 churches mm -hmm. and to disciple over 1 million people. Mm -hmm. Because if you go out there, there are people dying mm -hmm. every day without Christ. And I, as many of you that are hearing this broadcast today, I want to invite you to join in this decade of harvest where you can reach Maybe in your own community, maybe in your own city, maybe in your own church environment, where you can declare a decade of harvest, you and your church, local church, will tend to reach 1,000 souls or 10,000 souls or as many churches you can start or build. You say, why I start a church? The church is where you can disciple people better. Because if you have an assembly center that is called the body of Christ, there you can disciple people. And uh, uh, I want to inspire you and challenge you because we must reach out to the lost. Yes, we can be blessed materially, but what profit will it be when as many souls around us die and go to hell? Amen. 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 Yes, in my final word, people, God will crush your question. When is he coming back? You know, he said he's not, you know, the question, he, the, the thing, he said he's not slow like we all men think he's slow. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. what, what thinks slow is. He is patient. So to give all of us time, some of us are so slow, okay, that we don't want to get on the word and do what he says. But he don't want us to perish. He don't want you to perish. He don't want me to perish. He, he's wanting all of us to get it right. Because when he comes, let me play for some of us. It is time to take this body serious. We all have a responsibility, individual responsibility and collective responsibility to the, to the body of Christ. Who oh, you are part of the bag. To be honest with you, I'm embarrassed with what I'm hearing about different, different churches today. It is time. They will trust me this to turn around, turn everything around. Amen. We have to get back to the basics. Um, we have to get back to the basics. You know, um, as an evangelist, it's important that not just those of us that have been installed in the office of the evangelist, but every individual that have had a true metanoia, a true heart conversion, a true heart reset, Take your marching orders and go out and reconcile souls to the kingdom of God. That is the only way that we can advance the kingdom of God. We have to do our part. We have to do our part. We have to, there has to be a clear demarcation and a plumb line there to understand righteousness. Holiness is right. And in order for us to teach our children we have to show them and we have to lead by example. And we have to take up our cross and follow Jesus Christ. The reconciliation of souls back to the kingdom. We have to start now. The, the compromised church, the culture crafted church, the youth nowadays, they don't see a difference. And that is why they are leaving the church in masses. They want, they want to see the difference between the world and the church. Now the world looks like the church. Mm -hmm. And we thought that that was a way to evangelize, is to bring the world into the church to win the children. But now we're losing them because we have brought the world into the church. It's time for the clear demarcation. It's time for that plumb line. It's time for the separation of the world indeed from the church so that holiness can be that place of revival, so that the Spirit of the Lord can now arise again and we can have that Pentecost now again. Bring the fire of the Holy Ghost back into the church.
so that we can have the power to do exactly what we have been called to do in the earth as children of God. Well, uh, this is Bishop David Azanabo, uh, Prophet oh, Charles Atoy, and you just heard the voice and the face, and saw the face of Evangelist Kisha. Uh, I am on my way to Nigeria and uh, stopped over at uh, Atlanta, spent overnight with uh, uh, Prophet Charles and Evangelist Kisha. We're just on the breakfast table talking about the kingdom of God and we felt we should share this with the world to you know, to share our view and the mind of Christ with you as we come to the end of 2019 we pray that God will inspire you to do greater things for the kingdom of God. We want you to know that we love you, we appreciate you and we thank God for your life and we pray that you'll be inspired to the glory of God. We Together we're going to pray for, for you that is having the opportunity to see and hear us today. Can we join our hands together? Father God, in the name of Jesus, we just bless as many people that will have the opportunity to see this uh, clip today. And we pray that the kingdom of God will expand in us. And as we approach 2020 and move and beyond 2020, 2021 to 2030, so we have declared this decade a decade of harvest that souls will come into the kingdom of God. The manpower the financial resources, the knowledge to disciple us many to win the loss. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Say amen. 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 God bless. <laughs>